What's up guys? A lot of you have been asking how I do my live stream performances here on TikTok. Let me show you. First of all, the entire show is running through my laptop and my interface. For a DAW, I use Logic Pro. And for my amp sounds, I use the ML Sound Lab Amp Roots 5034 Fluff. And I'm also using the Logic Vox Copy for my clean channel. My pedal board is super basic. The only thing that I'm using here really is just gonna be my noise suppressor and a tuner, just so that I can mute my signal, clean up any of the sound going in, and then also keep my guitar in tune. The other stuff that's on my board, I pretty much only use with propane. We do use in-ear monitors, nothing fancy, just some cheap ones, and we run that through the headphone jack to this headphone amplifier that's then split out to two cables that go out to our in-ears. Our guitars are connected via a DI box, so we run short instrument cables to a DI box that then goes all the way up into our interface. This is mine, this is Pat's, and the microphone actually gets plugged into one of the inputs from the back, and then comes over here. The true secret, however, to get the sound quality to be good inside of TikTok is actually running a cable from one of the headphone outputs. This is the Focusrite 6i6. It's like the first generation, but you can route each headphone to have a different signal. So this is regular stereo out, and then the output that goes out to our in-ear monitors is three and four. So we're able to route a click and all kinds of things to help us stay on time through our feed that goes out to the in-ear monitors, but from the regular stereo out, which goes all the way up here into the phone, we can just run a regular stereo signal so everybody can hear what's going on. And this is sort of the contraption we have to use. It's just basically an eighth inch headphone jack to headphone jack type cable. We use an adapter to go from TRS to TRRS, and then of course the iPhone adapter because why not make everything complicated. For the lights, we use these really super cool ADJ PAR lights. They're really easy to use. They go into the computer with this secret weapon right here. This is the DMXs. This is a DMX interface for the computer, which allows me to then go in and actually write out all of the automation for the lights and it's pretty complicated. It gets really in depth, <laughs> as you can see. In order to know what's going on in the comments, we run a second monitor here on this TV, and I have a second account where I sign into my own live stream as another Madman Music, and I'm able to read the chat that way, because sometimes seeing it on the camera is a little bit difficult. And lastly, the two guitars that I use are gonna be this LTD 407 seven string, and also this ESP E2 seven string Eclipse with an Evertune. Pat uses a really cool, very affordable Harley Benton five string bass. This thing's pretty awesome. It's not very expensive. I think less than 200 bucks and it sounds great. His pedals, he's basically just using a tuner. And of course the DI box that gets run to the interface. All in all, this setup seems a little complicated, but I promise you it's really not. Everything works within the box. All the switching we do is in the box. I don't have to press any pedals. I can just keep playing, and the computer automation basically does all of the amp switching, all of the effects, everything. I just have to make sure that I stay on time and play my parts correctly. If you're interested in learning more about this, make sure to hit that follow button and head over to Madman Music on YouTube and hit that subscribe button. Over there, I'm teaching you all kinds of stuff like this. See you in the next video. Peace!